Hi there. So in this session, we're going to have a look at the mobile application. And I'm on an iOS device, but it is also available on Android. And what we can do is when we click into the application, you will see here that if you are on a cloud version, all you need to do is click into the login, enter in your email address, click next, and then enter in your password. Once you've done that, you'll be straight into the mobile application if you have a cloud version. So a cloud version is a free version, CRM plus, project plus, standard or professional. So if you have one of those, just enter in your email address and your password. If you have an on-premise version, just click into provide address, then enter in the full URL. So you can see that I included HTTPS colon slash slash. Just make sure you include that bit because sometimes that gets missed. Once we click on next, it will ask us for our username and then our password. And then because I've got a few on there, it just gave me a few of the different options. So if you click onto the three dots to the right hand side, this is generally your uh, area where you can navigate to any different section within Bittrex. So if you've got the extranet, you can even uh, check out your extranet groups on there. So you can see this is pretty easily navigatable on the system. And then let's just go down on the bottom menu. So let's first of all start off on the little speech bubble. So here you will be able to see all of the chats and the communications within Bittrex. So if you're working remotely, it's perfect to discuss something uh, with another one of our uh, colleagues. So let's say Josie Smith. Josie is one of my colleagues on here, so I can type in hello. Click on send. What will happen now is Josie will get a notification if she's using her uh, mobile application. So I could have pop up on her mobile as a push notification. She'll also receive a uh, notification internally inside Bittrex. I can also use the internal functions as well, making a uh, voice call with Josie. So I can discuss with her using the mobile application. I can also uh, discuss using the video as well with Josie. So that is a perfect way of communicating outside of Bittrex's internet browser version. If I want to check and look at pro, uh, Josie's profile, I can do. I can also add users to this particular communication group as well. So I might want to add Joanne, Mark, and John. Click into here. And now you can see that we now have a group chat. So I can group chat internally inside Bittrex as well. I have all the different options to disable notifications, check out who the members are, leave the chat, add additional users if I wanted to. So I put hi team. This might be a sales chat. And then I can send that. And then everybody that's been invited into this chat will receive a notification. You can like, comment, and so on and so forth. So it's a great way of communicating uh, internally, uh, but on your mobile application. You can also see a history of all chats within here. You, again, you can find any employee that you want to that's on the system. You can also chat to external users as well. And you can see in here, you can start new chat groups by clicking on the little plus icon in the top. So you don't have to start it just by inviting one person in if you didn't want to. 
So this is, like I say, a great way of communicating on your mobile device. Secondly, we have open channels. So open channels we've discussed on maybe our CRM uh, recording. And an open channel is when somebody messages you via Facebook, via Instagram, uh, via live chat on your website. Everything will come through to the mobile application that you've got set up. So this is one that's come through on live chat. So it came through a while ago, and you can see that John Smith picked up the communication. I can transfer this chat to another uh, user of ours. So I can type, maybe type in Jane. That will then start searching, and I can then transfer that chat to Jane White. So you can start transferring live chats to people that are probably going to be more suited to be answering those questions. The middle is your activity stream. So you can see in here the activity stream. So if you posted uh, announcements out, so that is in our communication recording, take a look at that. It's a great way of posting out new, the latest news in Bittrex. But you can see here these announcements can be seen and can be displayed on uh, Bittrex. You can click in the top and then you can look at all the different options that you have on here for uh, filtering and sorting out. If you want to post new articles out, you can do, click on the little pencil and you can decide what you want to send to everybody. So I could put, uh, welcome to Bittrex. And then it might be where I want to tag another employee in. So I could say Harriet is a new employee. Uh, I might just want to send it to Harriet so I can find her within here if I wanted to, so you can see here. Click on close. So you can then send it, click on send, and then that will send out. I sent it to all employees there. And then you can comment on it and really collaborate with one another on these uh, applications. So click on comment, check out the chat feature. And then there you go, you can start liking things as well. And so on and so forth. So you can see how you can communicate really well using the mobile device. Then we have the notification center. So all the notifications that you receive on Bittrex are going to be present within here. So they'll come through if you've got notifications turned on uh, internally and on your mobile device, then they'll come through on your uh, mobile as a push notification. So it's a great tool to keep on top of things happening within Bittrex, whether it's task updates, whether it's uh, chats, whether it's uh, something in the CRM that you've got automation on. You can see here we have a task automation from the system message. You can see in here we have meetings. There's all sorts of notifications that you need to be aware of when you're on the move and working remotely. So those are the bottom menu items. We click into here and then we uh, can use all the different tools. So if you're clocking in and clocking out, you can do so by, you can see here, I clocked in this morning 52 minutes ago. I might want to take a break. I can take a break and it's going to start recording my uh, break time and then I can continue working and it will continue. Once you've clocked out, that will then can get sent to your uh, supervisor and you can obviously get put your work reports in and really start tracking and monitoring the time again it's another fantastic tool to be working remotely to be able to clock in and clock out to make sure all your workforce is doing what they should do on there if you've got telephony set up take a look at the telephony recording uh, especially if you want to get start answering and making calls in Bittrex but you can use the soft phone application on here just to ring and dial out. That is automatically connected to your telephony in Bittrex. If not, it will ask you to use your cell phone and you can dial from that. Another thing with the telephony is that if somebody was to call and you've got Bittrex telephony connected up, you can pick it up directly on your cell phone as well. So it's an ideal scenario to be on the move answering calls coming in to Bittrex. We also have all of the modules inside Bittrex. So again, something that's uh, 
quick and easy to access. So I can see all the tasks that I have on my system. So at the moment, that's all tasks. I can filter for all my responsible tasks. And again, I would recommend taking a look at our tasks and projects recording to be able to understand a little bit more how the task management aspect of Bittrex works. But you can see here, I can see all my tasks. If I click on the little three dots up here, I can filter it a little bit more as well. I can add tasks on the fly. So if I want to click on add new task, start and start typing in the task on here. So it's all quick and easy to do. So on the move, if you've been assigned any workflows, they can, you can process them on here. You can access your Bittrex calendar. So you can see we have a number of different. So if I said weekly update, I can see in here what that is regard to. I can click on edit and I can add my notes within there. I can also click on it and add a new event. So you can see in here, I can add new events on here. So everything's quite straightforward. If I wanted to access documents, so again, look at our document management uh, recording if you wanna learn a little bit more about documents. But what in here we can do is access project documents, which is perfect because then I can view maybe a policy. I can see a preview of that policy if there was any content within there. Let's have a look if we have sales by source. There we go. So you can see and review and you can see any documents that have been uploaded to your projects or whether they've been uploaded to the central repository in your Bittrex environment. And you can download them to your phone as well, should you. So if I click back onto that one, you can see in the top right hand corner here that we have a download option. So the documents are an ideal way of accessing things remotely. Uh, you can, maybe you need to show images or you need to show files to potential customers. You could also take pictures on your camera and upload it to uh, a project drive. So again, you can really make use of the document management whilst you're on the move. Employees, you can find and see any employees on the system. I can click in Mark Black here. I can see any profile information, I can send an instant message to that particular user. Uh, shared drive is where you can see a central repository of all your documents. So again, take a look at the document management recording should you want to know how to upload your file structure and assign permissions onto there. Knowledge bases, one of the newer modules in Bittrex, you can access knowledge bases and find out uh, key information on and key articles on different areas of your business. But one of the more powerful tools, obviously, is going to be the CRM while, whilst you're on the move. If you've got CRM, uh, if you've got your CRM populated, you can access the latest deals on here. We can progress the deals. So we can say, for example, if we wanted to move that particular deal up, and progress it a little bit more. We can click into the deal and find out more and more information with regards to that. If we click on here, we can edit, and we can create using source, which means we can create a quote, or we can create an invoice directly from in here, or we can book activities in here and see all current activities. Click on new call, new meeting on there. So we can book calls in and pretty much do what we can do on the CRM. Again, I'd recommend taking a look at the CRM recording. It's a great tool to be able to uh, use. Uh, we can filter all the deals uh, and as well, every component is pretty much exactly the same on here. So we have all the ability to configure and show fields. We can click into company profiles and view all the details on here. If I wanted to call, I can do. So it gives me the option whether I want to call using Bittrex 24 telephony or whether I want to use my cell phone to make the call. So again, you have that option in here. So take a look at the CRM if you are heavily involved in it. It's a great way of being able to access all the details, contact details. And with the filtering, it does provide you with, so if I said in here, Graham, let's see if we've got any contact.
contact. I don't think we've got any contacts called Graham, but you can see in here that we can access any of our contacts should we wish. We can furthermore custom filters in here and then search for different elements. So everything is searchable, everything is quick and easy to access. And then we can access our project groups. So we might have, you can see in here, we've got tech seabers. So in here, we can see any activity stream posts. Uh, we can create tasks. We can add uh, new activity stream posts. We can see files for specific projects. So you have access to all this information at your fingertips with the mobile app. So I say it's just an overview. We just wanted to show you the ability to of what you have access to on Bitrix uh, mobile application. So please, please do download it. All you need to do is go to the uh, App Store for uh, obviously your iPhone uh, or the Google Play for your Androids, uh, and then you can download it directly to your mobile. Whether you've got a cloud version or an on-premise version, you can log in using your credentials and access everything you need to. So hopefully that helps. Bye for now.